live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE, covering AWS Summit 2017. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services. Hey, welcome back to theCUBE, live at the Moscone Center at the Amazon Web Services Summit San Francisco. Very excited to be here with my co-host Jeff Frick. We're now talking to the Chief Scientist and Professor at University of San Francisco, Greg Benson of SnapLogic. Greg, welcome to theCUBE. This is your first time here. We're excited to have you. Thanks for having me. So talk to us uh, about what SnapLogic is, what do you do, and what did you announce recently today with Amazon Web Services? Sure, so, so SnapLogic is a, uh, is a data integration company. Uh, we deliver a, a cloud native product that allows companies to easily connect their different data sources and cloud applications to uh, enrich their business processes and, and, and really make some of their business processes uh, a lot easier. Um, we uh, have a very easy to use, what we call self-service interface. So, um, previously, a lot of the things that people would have to do is hire uh, programmers and do lots of manual programming to achieve some of the same things that they can do with our product. Um, and we have a nice uh, you know, drag and drop, we call it visual programming interface to achieve this. And along those lines, uh, I've been working for the last two years on ways to um, make that experience even easier than it already is. And because we're cloud-based, because we have access to um, all of the types of problems that our customers run into and the solutions that they solve with our product, we can now leverage that and use it to harness um, machine learning. We call this technology uh, Iris, is what we're, what we're calling it. And, um, and so we've built out this entire metadata framework that allows us to, um, to do data science on all of our metadata uh, in a very iterative and rapid fashion and then we look for patterns, we look for um, historical data that we can learn from. And then what we do is we use that to train machine learning algorithms in order to uh, improve the customer experience in some way when they're trying to achieve a task. It, specifically, the first uh, product feature that is based on the IRIS technology is called uh, the Integration Assistant. And the Integration Assistant is um, a very practical uh, tool that is involved in the process of actually building out these pipelines. We call, when you build a pipeline, it consists of these things called snaps, right? Snaps encapsulate functionality and then you can connect these snaps together. Um, now, it's often uh, challenging when you have a problem to figure out, okay, it's like a puzzle. What snaps do I put together? And when do I put them together? Well, now that we've been doing this for a little while and we have quite a few customers with quite a few pipelines, um, we have a lot of knowledge about how people have solved those puzzles in the past. So what we've done with Iris is we've learned from all of those past solutions and now we give you automatic suggestions on where you might want to head next. And we're getting pretty good accuracy for what we're predicting. So we're basically, in this integration assistant is a recommendation engine for connecting snaps into your pipelines as you're developing. So it's a real-time assistant. So, it's, so if I'm getting this right, it's really the intelligence of the crowd and the fact that you have so many customers that are executing many of the similar same processes that you use as the basis to start to build the machine learning, to learn the best practices, to make suggestions as people are going through this on their own. That's, that's absolutely right. And, 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 and furthermore, the, not only can we generalize from all of our customers to help new customers uh, uh, take advantage of this, this past knowledge, but what we can also do is tailor the suggestions for specific companies. So as you, as a company, as you start to build out more solutions that are uh, specific to your problems, your different integration problems, right. we, the algorithms can now be, uh, can learn from those specific things. So we both generalize and then we also make the work that you're doing uh, easier within your company. And what's the specific impact? Are there any samples, stories you can share of of, well, we're of just what we're, is the result right of now this it's type been, of uh, it's, activity? Uh, we're, we're just we're releasing it in May, so oh, okay. it's, it's going to be generally available uh, <laughs> to customers. Couple weeks still. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so or um, so uh, and um, uh, so so we've done internal tests. So we do both do sort of the data science, so the experimentation to see um, to feed it and get the feedback around. Uh, you know, how accurately it works, but we've also done user studies, and what the user studies 
not only did the algorithm, not only did the science show, but the user studies show that it can improve uh, the time to completion of these pipelines as you're building them. So talk to us a little bit about who your target audience is. We're AWS, as we said. They really started 10 years ago in the startup space and have grown tremendously getting to enterprise. Who is the target audience for SnapLogic um, that you're going after to help them really significantly improve their infrastructure, get to the cloud, and beyond? So, so, uh, so basically, um, the, we work with largely with the IT organizations within enterprises, um, who are you know larger companies are, are are tasked with having sort of a common fabric for connecting you know which you know in a in an organization is lots of different you know databases for different purposes uh, ERP systems uh, uh, you know now you know increasingly lots of cloud applications and that's where part of our target is. Um, we work with a lot of companies that still have policies where of course their data must be behind their firewall and maybe even on their premise. So our technology, while we're, um, we're hosted and run in the cloud and we get the advantage of the SaaS, of uh, a SaaS platform, we also have the ability to run behind a firewall and execute these data pipelines um, in the security domains of the, of the customers themselves. So they get the advantage of SaaS, they get the advantage of things like Iris in the integration assistant, right? Because we can leverage our, our all of the knowledge, um, but they get to adhere to any you know any regulatory or or security policies that they have, and we don't have to we don't have to see their data or touch their data. So helping a customer that was you know using a, a service-oriented architecture or an ETL modernize their infrastructure. Oh, it's, it's completely about modernization. Yeah, I mean we. You know, um, uh, uh, our CEO, Gaurav Dillon, has been in the space for a while. He was formerly the, the CEO of Informatica, and so he had a lot of experience, and when he set out to, to start SnapLogic, he wanted to um, look, you know, embrace the technologies of the time, right? So we were, we're web-focused, right? We're, um, we're HTTP and REST and JSON data, and we've centered, um, uh, a lot, you know, the core technologies around these, these modern principles. Um, so that makes us, work very well with um, all the modern applications that you see today. But Greg, I want to shift gears a little bit. Yeah. You're also a professor Correct. at the uh, University of San Francisco and, and UC Davis. So I'd just love to get your perspective from the academic side of the house and what's happening at schools around this new opportunity with big data, machine learning, and, and AI, and how that world is kind of changing, and then you are sitting in this great position where you kind of cross, cross over both. How does that really benefit you know, to have some of that fresh young blood uh, and learning, and then really take that back over, uh, back into the, to the other side of the house. Yeah, so, it, so a, a couple of things. Um, uh, yeah, professor at University of San Francisco for 19 years. Um, uh, I did my PhD at UC Davis in computer science. And uh, uh, my, my background is uh, research in operating systems, parallel distributed computing, um, uh, in recent years, big data frameworks, big data processing, and uh, and University of San Francisco itself, we have a, what we call the um, Senior and Master's Project Programs, where um, we've been doing this for, ever since I've been at USF, where what we do is we partner uh, groups of students with, uh, with outside sponsors who are looking for opportunities to explore a research area. Um, maybe one that they can't uh, allocate you know, they can't justify allocating funds for because it's a little bit outside of the main product, right? And so, uh, so this is, so it's a, it's a great win because our students get, uh, get experience with a San Francisco Silicon Valley company, right? So it helps their resume, it, it enhances their, uh, their university experience, right? And because, you know, a lot of, you know, research happens in academia and computer science, but a lot of research is also happening in industry, which is, um, a really fascinating thing, if you look at what has come out of you know, some of the bigger companies around here, and we feel like we're doing the same thing um, at SnapLogic and at the University of San Francisco. Um, so, uh, just to kind of close that loop, um, students are great because they're, you know, they're not constrained by uh, maybe some of us who have been in the industry for a while about maybe what is possible and what's not possible, and it's great to have somebody come and look at a problem and say, you know, I, I think we could approach this differently. And in fact, really, um, the, the, the sort of the, the, 
the impetus for the integration assistant came out of one of these projects where I pitched to our students, um, and I said, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna explore SnapLogic metadata and we're going to uh, we're going to look at ways we can leverage machine learning um, in, in the product on this data. But I left it kind of vague, kind of open. Uh, this fantastic student of mine from Thailand, his name's Jump, um, he kind of, he spent some time looking at the data and he actually said, you know, I'm seeing some patterns here. I'm seeing that, you know, we've got this great repository of this, these, like I described it, these, these solved puzzles. And, you know, I think we could use that to, to train uh, some algorithms and, and so we spent, you know, in the project phase, uh, as part of his coursework, he worked on, uh, worked on this uh, technology. Then we demoed it at the company. The company said, wow, this is great technology. Let's put this into production. And then there was kind of this transition from sort of this more academic, sort of experimental project into, uh, into putting it, put going with engineers and making it uh, a, um, a, a real feature. What a great opportunity though, not just for the student to get more real world applicability, like you're saying, taking it from that very um, experimental, investigational, academic approach and seeing all the components within a business, that student probably gets so much more out of just an experiment. But your point, uh, other point is very valid of having that younger talent that maybe doesn't have a lot of the biases and the preconceived notions that those of us have, that have been in the industry for a while. That's a great, that's like a, a great pipeline, no pun intended, sure. for, for SnapLogic. Is that something that you help to bring into the company by nature of being a professor? Is it sort of a nice byproduct? Well, so, so a couple of things there. One is that, uh, um, like I said, the University of San Francisco, we've been running this uh, project class for a while. Um, and uh, I, um, I got involved, I, you know, I had, been at USF for a long time before I got involved with SnapLogic. Um, I was introduced to Gorov and there was this opportunity. And initially, right, initially, um, I was looking to apply some of my research to the technology, their product and their technology. Um, but then it became clear that, hey, you know, we have this, we have this uh, infrastructure in place at the university. Um, we, 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 you know, they go through the academic training. Um, our students are, uh, it's, it's a very rigorous program. Back to your point about, uh, about what they are exposed to. We, we have, you know, very, you know, we're very modern around big data, machine learning, um, and then all the core computer science that you would expect from a program. And, um, and so, yeah, it's been, um, it's not, you know, I, SnapLogic, it's been a great mutually beneficial relationship with SnapLogic and the students, but many other companies also come and pitch projects, and those students also do similar types of projects that other companies. So it's, um, I, I, I would like to say that I started it at USF, but I didn't. It was, it was in existence, but I, um, I helped carry it forward. That's great. That and, is and, and, and even before we got started, I mean, you said your kind of attitude was to be the, I, the, the iPhone of in data this integration. space, right? So, yeah. you know, again, taking a, a very different approach, a really modern approach to the expected behavior of things is, is, is very different. And, you know, the consumerization of IT in terms of the expected behavior of how we interact with stuff has been such a powerful driver in the development of all these different applications. Pretty amazing. And, and I think, you know, uh, just like maybe, you know, now you couldn't imagine most, uh, most sort of consumer-facing products not having a, an I, a, a mobile application of some sort. Um, increasingly what you're seeing is um, applications will require machine learning, right? Will require some amount of augmented intelligence and, um, and I would go as far to say that uh, the technology that we're do doing at SnapLogic with self-service integration is also going to be a requirement. That you're, you just can't think of doing self-service integration without having it powered by uh, a machine learning framework helping you, right? And almost like in, in a few years, we'll, we, we won't imagine it any other way. And I like the, the analogy that Jeff, you just brought up, uh, Greg, the, being the iPhone of data integration. The simplicity message, something that was very prevalent today at the keynote about making things simpler, faster, enabling more, and it sounds like that's what you're leveraging computer science to do. So, Greg Benson, Chief Scientist at SnapLogic, thank you so much for being on theCUBE. You're now a CUBE alumni, so that's fantastic. All right. We appreciate you being here, and we appreciate you watching for my co-host Jeff Frick. I'm Lisa Martin, again, we are live from the AWS Summit in San Francisco. Stick around, we'll be right back.